Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Educare. Today I brought another session on building tickenter widget. This time this is related to a uh, tickenter drop down list. So we have two ways uh, to build this. One is uh, tickenter combo box, another is like menu item. So both are having the unique ways. And I will show you how to build this uh, using both the tech, both the methods. And you can decide what you need based on your requirement. So, uh, so let me show you first how to build a tick in a drop down list using combo box. So we need to import this module that is from tick enter import star, from tick import tick enter stk, and then from tick enter import ttk. So this particular model, this is, this is with respect to a uh, combo box, but if you are going with the menu item, so you don't need to do, uh, import this. So next, so I will skip this. Then I will be building the application that is main is equal to tk. Then I have the label. I will I will have a label that is for selected day. Let me run the program. This is a very simple program based to find out the number of days. Uh, to, uh, sorry, uh, to show all the number of uh, to show all the weekdays. And if you see here, like label main text select day, we have this here in row one, column one and next we have like days it is in list what it should show that is monday tuesday Wednesday, thursday friday and saturday sunday next box is ttk combo box this is the combo box this is the main and then value is equal to days so this values will have this list content and then we will have this grid in row one column two now this is the list monday tuesday to sunday okay Next this button we all know that so text is equal to show text equal to show and then command is equal to show answer. So once I click this it will you calculate this function and based on the selection once I clicked it will just print the required day. Say like I will be selecting witness day it will show oh sorry I need to yeah you can see witness day here. If I select Thursday, Thursday. If I select Monday, Monday. So uh, this uh, combo box is uh, helpful or is beneficial when we have n number of list items, say like more than hundred list items. So we'll be having a drop down along with the scroll bar to support that. Also, like if you type based on that, it will work. Say like Thursday, it will click Thursday. So but in menu item, this will not support. So I will show you how menu item looks like, but uh, I will recommend you to use a combo box if you have a more number of items, more number of list items to select. So you guys, you, I think you have understood this uh, combo box uh, funda. So if you have any doubt, you can always uh, mail me to my mail ID that is uh, rafikjava at twitter at gmail dot com. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel so that like you can get more information. And which will be helpful for your uh, for your activities. Now, next, I will be showing how to uh, build a tick in the drop down wizard using menu item. Okay. So it's the same thing. I will be skipping this step. Next is uh, we will be building the application menu tk. Then I will be having the days in the list format then i will be having a variable uh, this is not required if you want own one variable is string main next label is equal to main let me run this program so it will show you this if you see it will show you like this menu item and then once you click here it will get you the list so option menu menu variable days this will take the days this is variable list and then row one column two okay so this is the same way but here if you see the look look is look got changed and uh, so once you select uh, say witness day it will print the value as witness day this is witness day 
so both functions the same way but uh, the way the loop wise is different if you want to go for this kind of loop you can use this and this is useful when it is less number of lists say 10 to 20 lists but when you have more then the list will increase increase and uh, at some point you will be fed up with uh, scrolling down so i will be su suggesting you to use combo box when you're using a uh, drop down list for tick inter yes you can use this uh, option menu when we have uh, less number of items so hope you understood uh, both the concepts if you have any doubt you can always uh, reach to me reach out to me and uh, if you like my video please press like button and for more videos please do subscribe my channel thank you for watching